everyone, I'm Narelle Darley from the Cricut Explore Maker and More Facebook group and today I want to quickly walk you through the new features that will soon be coming to Design Space. Now these features are currently only available in the beta version of Design Space and you'll find the link to the beta version in the description box below, but they will be available in the live version in the coming weeks. Now the beta version number will be 7.20 and if you have any feedback about the new features or want to report a problem with the new features, be sure to click on the main menu icon and then select report issue and then you can go through the steps there to report the problem that you're seeing. Now first you'll see that the layers panel looks a little different. The group and ungroup buttons have been merged and currently the buttons don't have labels. However, you can hover your mouse over the buttons to see the action name as well as its hotkey combination. Now, if you select multiple objects, the group button will be active and you'll be able to group those objects just by clicking on that group button. If you have a group selected, then the ungroup button will show, allowing you to ungroup those objects. A great new feature is the ability to edit layer names. And this is a feature that many of us have been requesting for a long time, and I'm so happy that it's finally here. Just double click on the layer and type in the new name. And you can also get to that rename function by right clicking on your layer and selecting rename from the top of the menu there. Now there is a maximum length of how long your layer can be and that is 50 characters. You can now also adjust the width of the layers panel to make it wider so that you can see any long layer names. Just hover your mouse over this line here click down and drag to the left and then to close that again just again click down and drag to the right. So let's have a look at what else is new. You may notice that the weld option is missing from the bottom of the layers panel and that's been replaced by a combine button. But combine gives us more ways of combining objects than we could do just using the weld button and the slice option. So if you select more than one object, you'll see that the combine button is activated. So when I click on that, you'll see that there are four options for combining those objects. You have unite, subtract, intersect and exclude. Weld is still there, but as you know, weld is permanent. There's no unweld option other than clicking the undo button to get to a point before you welded. You can see here, if I select these objects and click weld, you'll get this result. And you can see in the layers panel that those shapes have been combined into one shape. As I said, there's no way to unweld unless I use the back button. But if I select those same shapes and select Combine Unite, the result is the same as if I had welded it, but I can still access each of the original shapes in the Layers panel. Now, subtract is similar to slice, but it doesn't have the limitation of only being able to have two layers selected. Subtract removes multiple shapes from the bottom most layer that's selected. So in this case here, I have two small squares for windows. I have a rectangle for a door, and then I have a square for the house or the body of the house. If I select all four of those, so I'm not selecting the roof, I select all of those four and then select combine and subtract. 
the windows and the door are cut out of the square and that's because the square was the lowest layer. So now we're on to intersect. Now intersect removes anything that overlaps from two or more objects. So I'm going to select these two images. I'm going to select combine and intersect. And you can see that the dots are removed from the star and the pattern or this, the pattern is now in the shape of the star. And finally is exclude. Now exclude removes any of the non-overlapping parts of the objects. So I'll select these five squares, select combine and exclude. And you'll see that the non-overlapping parts are all that is left. Now, if you don't like the position of your new layers, you can move them. On this shape, I'll click on one of the squares in the Layers panel, and I can then move it on the canvas. So I'll click on this square here that I've selected from the Layers panel, and I can move that to a different position. And when I release the mouse, you can then see the new shape that's been created. So I can go and click on another one and I want to move this one this way. When I release the mouse, there's my new shape. Now, if you're not at all happy with your result, you can click on the object and go to combine and select undo exclude and it will totally undo that apart from the fact that I've moved things around. Now you can also, apart from moving individual layers around, you can also resize any of these um, layers. So if I go and select my dotted logo here and I want to resize that and make those circles a little bit bigger, I can do that. And again, when I release the mouse, you get the new shape. Now, you may notice that there are a lot of extra layers in the layers panel here than what you would normally would have had from when you just used Weld. Now, you can hide those layers by clicking on the down arrow beside the layer name. But if you're finished designing and you want to completely tidy up your project, you can select those layers and select Combine, Merge Layers. And you'll then see that you've got one individual layer just as if you would have had if you'd used Weld. Now Merge can't be undone just like Weld. So other than immediately using the undo button, once you have selected merge, you're basically committing that um, as your final project. So one last new feature is the ability to drag and drop layers into an attached group. So I have this image here. Now it's made up of these two layers here that I have attached together and then also these little sparkles. Now if I want to move these sparkles so that they are also in the attached group here, I can just click on them here in the layers panel and then just drag and drop those up into inside that attached um, group and they are now all attached together. So that's the update that's coming soon so I encourage you to go and grab that um, beta version if you have time and just play around and just see what all those different uh, combined options can do and I also strongly recommend that you if you have problems or you have feedback for Cricut please go into the menu 
as I said, and go into report issue and let them know what you're finding because they can't fix these things or they can't make the changes that we want if they don't know that we want them. If you do go and install the beta version, you can go back to the live version very easily just by clicking on the menu button and going into settings and then you've got this option here for application experience and that means that you can swap at any time between the beta version and the live version. You're not stuck with beta if you go and install that. Just come back in here, click on live and it will go and then install the live version for you and you'll be back to how you were before. So again, you can swap between them at any time. So just thought that I should mention that. So hopefully that was helpful today. I will see you next time. Bye for now.